may speak freely, Agent. Prepare to receive your orders. I want you to obtain access to the Nemeral Clan's inner circle. Only the boldest make it into the Great Hunt. And Vex is a bold target. Show me. <laughs> if the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? Magnificent! You, you slave. What? No, Acolyte. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Alzheimer's, I'm... Jory! Brayden! What happened? Is the old man... He looks pretty dead. Jory, too. No. The old man's really dead. But, but he... Oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you had something to do with this. If I did, you'd be dead too. I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just... I've been with Brayden for years. I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. I just can't believe he's gone. It's never easy seeing friends die, Mako. I just never imagined. But I can handle this, I can. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. Blast it. Someone's tampered with the recording. I can still get some of it, though. Here we go. Move and you're dead. Now if you know what's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Oh, I know precisely what's good for me. Winning the Great Hunt won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Taro Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services. Won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you. Taro Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. Ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course, that will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Vibroblade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kunta Chuta! Kasu Yali Kunira! Kanki Kum! You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up-and-comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so-called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Jory, shoot the kill! Too late, old man. That scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. Big Mouth running the show claimed he was Taro Blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Taro Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. This time he's stacking the deck in his favor. If what he said was true, he's already nicked some other competitors. 
Terrowblood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major Squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. I'm here to win the Great Hunt. That hasn't changed. The thing is, Brayden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. Nemro the Hutt is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Brayden is... is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This'll take every favor I can call in, and I'll need the tags from your bounty. It should be enough for two burials. That should cover it. I'll do something nice for them. At least as nice as I can manage on this cesspool of a planet. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now, you'll have to make an even bigger impression. Nemro's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace, and you'll score points with the hut. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Work us out. Master Kiewicz told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. He thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived? His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengo Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengo was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. The Force was with him if he got out of there alive. The temple was annihilated. Hundreds of Jedi died that day. We never recovered all the bodies. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. That's terrible news. Will you be alright? I wasn't expecting to lead our people for many years. My scouts have identified a Flesh Raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? When have I ever let you down? First time for everything. Not that I'm worried. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. You said you were going to get the ore back. Ah! I have done all I can. They, the other tribes, will not listen. If you say so. Hey, you the Red Blade. Heard you were coming. Thought we'd soften up the chief for you. Carol sent me. I'll take it from here. He's all yours. I? I am Odef of the Evokai. Leader of the Vom. Sacred keeper of histories. I greet you in peace and... I... am grateful. I heard you're the one to talk to about Nemro's missing ore. Yes. I will talk. But it will not please you. It was the other tribes who attacked your shipment, the Evokai, who... who refused peace. In gratitude to Nemro for all he has done, I spoke to my misguided brothers, but they will not return Nemro's medals. They won't even negotiate? The tribes, they stole the shipment to spite the huts and to use for themselves. They will make weapons, machines. They took the metals to their great village in the swamps. Only a beast or a shadow can enter. Seek the shipment there, if you wish. Thank you, you've been a great help. I only do my part. I only want peace. Hello there, friend. 
You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. Now, now. You really don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. But Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. You will regret that. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. Speaking of Fawn, he seems conspicuously absent. You only wish it, slave. No. You took so long returning, I sent Fawn ahead. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? What exactly is a Dashard? They're a lost race of assassins that the ancient Sith used to devour their force-using enemies. This one will probably eat you the moment he's freed. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Ahem. <clears throat> one moment, please. Lord Zash! What are you doing here? Overseer? Are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the Red One, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Horde's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Well, well, well. It's a good thing I didn't start running, isn't it, Harkon? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear acolyte... Here is what you must do to free the Dishard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dishard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. Is there anything else I should know about the Dishard? It's a force-resistant assassin. I have reason to believe this one was placed in the tomb by Tulak Horde himself. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte. Tiny man come to beg for mighty Nemro's attention. Igoramo, 
Uban Joralipa is Timbopo. Rundi Kaba, Kyotopa, Upanda Bakamurzanita. Now that we got pleasantries out of the way, let's talk business. Gunchuta, Kasu Yali Kura, Tokanti Kong. Ugly Luga. Jez Obunda Griska, Takaya Osta. Gagwachi ni Oiga, Nanulio Opa Kizaspi Aperupa. Mako said you're a powerful hot Nemro. Is that a lie? Kutsi Nanchi, eh? Jagoni ma Techu. Ja Porco Udmangisa, Nitisa Rota Gopara. Gumbajiji. Gwanting! Noli Makichi-san! Ninga Ninga Kidrita, Nimo Tanuv Ayola, Tangwe Kuta. Oh, Wala Wanga, Tuske Wala Ma, Tablota Wujawa. If there's money in it, I'll take any target. Nabuta di Michawa Wemo. Putula Musta, Obrani Tampio, Dupushi Wampa. Boga, Italia Slekula, Woska Kuabotnuta. Head on floor, got it. Sayadumbi no Avadiguna. Chino Nigdindogi. Be careful, little bounty hunter. Hut's Bay once blasted into other palace, killed pile of captains, murdered a mighty hut. Slow down, Blade. Stay with me a while. We haven't had the chance to talk. I'm Kaleo. Nemro puts me in charge of the good stuff. His guns, his troops, the safety of his little palace. You can spare some time for me, right? Who am I to say no to a woman like you? Good answer. People who say no are never very interesting. You've got a nasty reputation, you know. I hear you went and murdered poor Dino Ray right on this spot. What was that about, Blade? He came after me. I just defended myself. It's too bad. He had a pretty face before you messed with it. Me. I'm betting you and Dino had something else going on. You had a reason for coming to Nemro's house. Maybe money, maybe power. I like to think you'll be troubleblade. You'll be bloodthirsty, treacherous. Because I could enjoy keeping an eye on a bloodthirsty, treacherous pirate. Well, I could enjoy being watched. Hmm. Maybe we'll get along after all. If you are trouble, take your time. I'd hate to stick a blaster to your head, or a slave collar around your neck, before I've seen everything you can do. That's all I wanted to say. You can go now. It's been a pleasure, Kaleo. Of course it has. Must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Master Orgus is looking for you, Bengal. Orgus won't find me. I'll find him. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? I didn't want to kill the man, but he left me no choice. There's always a choice. You should have surrendered to the inevitable. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. Don't give in to hatred, Bengal. Let us help you. Help me become a coward like you? I'm the only true Jedi left in the galaxy. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No. My mother... She... Found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. You have my sympathies, Rana. But your people are in good hands. Before he left, Master Orgus told me, There is no death. There is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die, and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses! They did something to our crop fields! 
They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Tell your people to stay away from the fields. I'll get rid of these things. Be careful. If the machines are too powerful, save yourself. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. I destroyed the machines, poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave, it was heroic. Since you came here, all you've done is risk your life to save us. Why would you face death again and again for people you barely know? You can't stand by and do nothing while others suffer. So many of my people mistrust the Jedi. I wish they could know you like I do. Please accept this token of affection from my people. You've earned it. I should go inform everyone that the danger is over. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? I spoke to your old Padawan over the Hollow. He's doing all this so he can destroy the Sith. And that's not Sith himself. Good. If I can get to him, reason with him. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. What if I run into your old Padawan? If you see Bengal, retreat and contact me immediately. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me when your mission's complete. May the Force be with you. Fathra will not stop his mining operations. He's going to keep tapping our gas pocket and cut our supply in half. Oh, Kakiza Spida Perupa. Don't play dumb with me, Tathlajin. Father doesn't need to steal our customers if he doesn't leave us any gas to sell, and we can't uproot him without help. Idiot. Sorry about Tathlajin, Blade. Legitimate business brings out the worst in us. Makes me miss actual crime, you know? But it looks like you're about to brighten my day. You find the shipment? I have it right here. Delivered as promised. The fee's been transferred to your account. You'll have access by the time you're back at your apartments. You earned every credit. I'd buy you a drink in the cantina, but I need to have a chat with Nimro. We should talk more another time, though. You do good work. I appreciate it, Carols. Good luck with the hut. Right. I'll need it. The operation is proceeding well, Agent. Thanks to your intervention, Carol's Jarvis will once again have Nemro's ear. I took note of your meeting with Nemro's security chief, Kaleo. You handled yourself well. Still be on your guard. We've identified her as a freelance assassin, enforcer, and anarchist. She's been attached to a dozen employers in half as many years, using several different aliases. I'll be cautious. She's a wild card. She may prove a liability. But she could also prove very useful. Watch her. On to more immediate concerns. Nemero operates a major Schwash gas mine on Hutter. The Empire wants access to Nemero's refined gas. Unfortunately, Fathra is tapping the same gas pocket as Nemero. We need to destroy Fathra's operations in the rust yards before Nemero's grinds to a halt. Can't we just buy the gas from Fathra instead? Nemero's refineries produce Schwash usable as a precision explosive. Fathra can't refine the gas to the same degree, and he's wasting it by trying. You will travel to Fathra's mining facility and place explosives in the drill shaft, destroying the equipment and collapsing part of the gas pocket. You'll need to strip a uniform and credentials off the facility guards to pass the final security checkpoint. A working disguise is imperative. Should be straightforward. Your disguise may not hold up under close inspection, so avoid conversation. The explosives have already been delivered to your room. Once you're finished, go back to Carol's Jarvis and make sure he knows what happened. Take the credit if you like. I'll be back soon. One more thing, Agent. Darth Jadis pays increasing attention to your work. You will reward success or failure appropriately, and I will not intervene. 
Report back after you've destroyed the mine and inform Carols of the results. Keep her out. Nemro found someone with no morals to destroy my village. Are you proud of yourself? Filthy murderer! Will you butcher all the women and children as well? There's no bounty on them. Just you. Wait. Perhaps there is another way. The huts would slaughter us like criminals, when it is they who have taken what is not theirs. Yes. This planet was home for evil Kai long before the huts came. You are a warrior. You must understand why we fight for our birthright. Don't bore me with politics. You waste your breath, spirit leader. This is just more outsider scum. Save your breath. You're dead. Come and fall under my blades. Warriors! Rally to Hutsbane! It's Mako. Got some information for you. Did you find out more about the Great Hunt or Brayden's killer? That and more. I've been a busy girl. The man who killed Brayden really was Taro Blood, a big shot from Alderaan. After he washed out on the last Great Hunt, Taro spent years building up support with the Mandalorians. The Great Hunt is a Mandalorian tradition. Entry rules are different for their people. Since Taro is a Mandalorian, he competes with them to enter. Now, he's buying off the other Mandalorians, so they don't gang up on him again. A coward and a cheat. This scum dies. That's what I like to hear. For now, concentrate on impressing Nimro. His sponsorship is your only chance of getting close to Taro Blood. Oh, one more thing. While I was out taking care of... saying goodbye to Brayden and Jory, I caught someone following me. He was dressed like some off-world tribesman, tall, wore a white bone mask, like a death's head. This fellow try to come after you? No, but he could tell I spotted him. Anyway, eyes open. Go show that hut who's the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Abadonta. He smell like dead savage. Ugly <laughs> Yoga. You asked for a head. I went and got it. I know there's been a lot of shooting. Anything else I should know before I head out? Chunky Salamanana Topa. You're my kind of sick, Nemro. See Judah when you want credits. She pay you for dead savage. Hey, I think I've got something for you. I was hoping you'd say that. That's not what I meant. You're a bad one. Here you go. Credits for the head of Husbane. Good work there. Oh no. Oh no. 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 I, I, I don't want to die. I never meant to betray Nemro, but Fathra offered me so many credits. And Fathra didn't pay me, he locked me up. He threatened to kill my wife if I didn't work my accounting magic for him. 
I was so stupid. Please, please, please spare me. I'll do anything. What can you do for me, Yold? You don't have to kill me. I I'll just go, get my wife, leave the planet. I I'll crash Vathra's accounts before I go. Ruining Vathra's finances will make Nemro so happy he won't care what happened to me. I'm still not hearing what I get out of this. I, I can only do certain things with Vathra's assets. But there is a small expense account I could transfer to you. I'm already being paid. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Huh? Ugh. Cartel representative identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Gas leak detected. Activating ventilation system. Lockdown in place until ventilation complete. Recalling all mining and security droids. You'll get the gory details after I report to Nemro. Figure you can wait that long? Looks like I'll have to. But you don't get... Blade, nice you decided to come by, but I was just telling Carol's I can't stay. I know you understand. That girl's a handful. But she's good at what she does, I'll give her that. She's a hot little number two, don't you think? I try not to notice. I'd rather keep all my pots attached. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. But those explosions in the rust yards, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Father's minds won't cause you any more trouble. <laughs> I thought you might have something to do with it. Good work, Blade. Good work. I like a person who takes initiative. With Fathra's minds broke down, we can increase production. Fathra will want revenge, of course, but we'll be ready. Look, I have something for you. You'll like it. I'll send it to your room. You've done good work for us. You deserve more than credits. Which reminds me, how long are you staying on Hutta? Not much longer, if everything goes right. Well, if you're still around in a few weeks, I'd like you to meet my sons. They'll be home from the trading expedition. I think you'd get along. Think about it is all I'm saying. Now get going. I'm sure you have other business to take care of. Come on, Luti, we don't have time to waste here. Too late. Hey there, you must be the Blade. You want to explain why you're in my room? Well, we were paid pretty well, for starters. Luti here was installing a listening device before you interrupted. Someone wanted to know what you were up to, but I guess that plan's off now. You've made a mistake. You don't know who you're up against. See? And here I thought you were the Red Blade. Now get your guns out, folks! I understand Nemro Shvash gas production is back on schedule, Agent. Excellent work. Keep it up and Darth Jadis may loosen his grip on operations. However, I'm afraid unforeseen circumstances have caused a problem. You mean the people who broke into my room? No, that's a separate matter and one I advise you to watch closely. But it isn't what concerns me now. Three days ago, Carl's Jarvis' sons encountered a Sith apprentice in Imperial space. A dispute broke out. One son died and the other was crippled. When Carol's hears that a Sith slaughtered his child, his sympathy for the Empire will evaporate. We can no longer use him to get to Nemro. This is an intelligence project. Sith shouldn't be interfering in our work. The Sith do what they will. We don't control them and we don't pass judgment on them. That doesn't mean they're right, or that we obey them without question, but we phrase those questions carefully. We bide our time. Now, I have a plan to solve our present dilemma. But first, we need Carol's out of the way. Are you sure that's necessary? It's unfortunate, but it's the only way to proceed. I'm sending you an interference program on a computer spike. Go to Carol's suites in the palace. Activate the spike to black out his security monitors. You'll be able to eliminate Carol's and his bodyguards without being seen. When Nemro's people investigate, they'll recognize the jamming program as Republic technology. 
So we frame the Republic for the murder of Carol's Javis. Why? One step at a time, Agent. Tartalish and Nemro's Twi'lek advisor already expect Fathera to seek revenge for the destruction of his mines. Our job is to show that the Republic helped Fathera kill Carol's. Once Carol's is gone, speak to Tartalish about his suspicions. As Carol's friend, you'll promise to do whatever it takes to find the assassins. Time to get to work. For now, get to Carol's suites and use the computer spike. We'll discuss more once Carol's is eliminated and Tarthagen's suspicions have been aroused. Keep her out. What's going on here? You thought you'd just go and switch sides? Damn you! Carol's, you can survive this, but we have to work together. You're offering me mercy? Oh, your timing's bad. I could use a fight right now. I just got word that my boys are dead, Blade. Some Imperial piece of filth killed him for refusing to bow and scrape. You're wrong. One is dead, but the other is only crippled. How could you know that? How? I get it. Kill one, take the other hostage. Just make sure Carol's Javis cooperates, right? You slime. What is it you want from me? I want you to die. You think you're the first piece of scum who's tried to kill me? I was fighting thugs in Jaguna streets when I was half your age. I can handle you. Hello, can I help? What is that? Yalt! This is what happens to people who betray Nemro. Ah! I'll just leave this here. <laughs> <laughs>